How you doing guys? Welcome back to Six Super Reviews. Tonight we're checking out some Marble Fox. They are out of Nashville, Tennessee, and this is their Torchlight Tiki Sour IPA. And this is going to be a fun review because I have never had a sour IPA before. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to check it out. So it says on the side here, ignite your senses with our Tiki Sour IPA Torchlight. This vibrant brew features a tart and refreshing sour IPA base infused with the tropical flavors of pineapple, lime, and a hint of almond. Imagine juicy pineapple sorbet, zesty lime, and a whisper of almond creaminess blending harmoniously in every sip. Um, Torchlight is your tropical escape in glass delivering in a taste of paradise with every sip. Yeah, brewed and canned, Marble Fox Brewing Company, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, canned on August 2nd, so we are right at a month old, um, like just under. But yeah, I was just at Marble Fox yesterday, had a great time over there. They took over Jackalope's original spot in Nashville, and uh, yeah, had some great beers. I've reviewed one of their beers before, but it has been a minute, so um wanted to check out some more of their beers, so um, heard great things about them, so let's just dive in, check it out. And that poured super hazy. Put this here in the proper glassware. Looks awesome. Yeah, it's just that super, it's got a little darker, kind of that haze color. Um, did I say the ABV? 6.9%. Six, 6 um, yeah, it's got that darker ABV I typically think of like with like double IPAs, double hazy IPAs that I see every now and then. Um, I don't know if it's just the malt that they're using, maybe some of the fruit that they're putting in there. Um, that's kind of giving it that darker color, but still looks awesome. Um, we had a little bit of head. Let's see if we can get something back there. Yeah, there's like a quarter to half finger of kind of off white, kind of soap sudsy head. Um, it looks awesome though. Just pick, just picked up this glass yesterday, and uh, you know, had to get some proper glassware from Wild Fox because uh, I've enjoyed. Beers that I've had from them, and I'm hoping this is just the same. So let's dive in, get a nose on it. Ooh, okay. Yeah, right off the bat, I get pineapple right up front. Um, a little, like, um, what do you call that? Like citrusy lime, like a little acidic tart note from the lime. With the almond, I think they're going for, I like making tiki cocktails every now and then, um, kind of what drew me to this beer. Um, going for like a, is it pronounced orjat? Um, almond syrup. Um, like that kind of vibe with the almond, I think, is what they're, I'm assuming that's what they're going for. Um, I don't really get too much almond here. I, I feel like it's really just going to round out the beer, really help with that. But maybe I'll add some sweetness. I don't know. It smells really good though. It's definitely got like a sour um, bite to it. But it still has that IPA kind of like base background there. Um, it's like slightly malty. You get some of that hazy um, whatever yeast they're using. I'm sure like a house yeast. It's just like giving off fruity. Um, there's like a little bit of a no, not really. I was going to say there's like a chalkiness, but there's really not. It just smells super fruity, pineapple, lime. Um, yeah, just smells like super tropical. It smells awesome, so let's just dive in. Cheers. That's really good. Really solid. It's like, it's got a pretty nice 
um, mouthfeel to it, like super soft. Super soft, a little carbonation in there, but it is like, it's super creamy. That is really good. It's creamy, it's like medium, medium full, medium, yeah, medium full bodied, um, just super creamy. I don't know if they're like adding straight up like Orgeat to this beer, uh, but it's got this really nice creaminess. Uh, they gotta be. It's almost like a, like if you ever had um, coconut cream or what is that like, Coco Lopez, um, if you ever added that into, I don't know, some kind of desserts or cocktails, whatever, um, it, it's got that like, creamy syrupy like but like not coconut it's literally like almond syrup um like gorge that's really what it reminds me of um, but then you get that pineapple lime note it's not too sour either it really just adds some nice fruitiness to it this is what i imagine like those um new like treehouse ipas being like like they're in green with pineapple added um, or like mango, whatever. They're doing all kinds of stuff with fruit. That's what I imagine. This is what I imagine those beers tasting like. You said pineapple, lime. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Pineapple, lime, almond. Yeah, it's super pineapple sorbet uh, for just like a hint of lime. It's, it's really good. Really good. Sour IPAs, I don't see too much around here. I don't know if anybody else, anybody else watching this review, let me know. Uh, some favorite sour IPAs that you have, if you're a fan at all. I don't know. But this is really good. Yeah, I love that. I feel like the almond definitely helps out with the, the sourness. So it's not like overly sour. This doesn't drink... I mean, it kind of has that like fruited sour beer kind of taste to it, but it still has the hops in there. So yeah, I mean, it, I guess this is my first introduction. I would say it drinks true to style, even though it's my first sour IPA I've ever had. 6.9% doesn't drink like it drinks like five, five and a half percent. Super drinkable. Um, yeah, this is really good. It's got, yeah, like I said, medium to full body, but it's still like super drinkable. That's really solid. Mm. Marble Fox, they just celebrated their one year anniversary. Congrats to them. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be checking out some more of their beers. The first beer I had from them, I think it was Fox Populi. Um, it was good. It was good, but this is really, really solid. So, um, yeah, I need to check out some more of their hazies. I yesterday had their Oktoberfest. It was really good. Had their Mexican lager. That was awesome. So, um, yeah, they're brewing awesome beer at one year old. Um, so, wish them the best of luck, and I hope they continue to do what they're doing. So, yeah, Marble Fox, I don't know distribution-wise. I think they're just in Nashville right now. So, um, I would say get your ass to Nashville, try out some Marble Fox. Uh, they might get out to like Knoxville, Memphis area. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, really, really solid IPA. So that is Torchlight Tiki Sour IPA from Marble Fox in Nashville, Tennessee. If anybody's had this one, let me know. If anybody's had any of this style, let me know if you like it. Um, I'm a fan. I really am. You know, I love my straightforward hazy IPAs, um, IPAs in general, but it's cool to have something different every now and then. So that's all I got guys. Um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.